once offers an application programming interface, hereinafter referred to as API, which allows users to implement the most important functions of the customer portal into their own software environment, enabling you to manage, control, and monitor your once SIM cards from an external system. In this tutorial, you will learn how to get started with the once REST API and get an overview of the most common API requests. All functions of the ONCE API can be visualized and easily tested under the following address. To get the ONCE API started, you first have to authenticate yourself. Therefore, click on the Authorize button and enter your credentials. As an owner, these are typically the same as the ones for the ONCE customer portal, email address and password. As an API user, the credentials are the client ID with the account number as a prefix and the related client secret. Now that you're logged in, you can try the different requests that the API offers. These are divided into three categories, namely order control, product information and SIM card management. Take a look around and try out the different functions. By clicking on a specific request, such as Get Orders, you get a detailed description of how to use this request. Choose Try It Out to unfold an overview of the specific instructions and parameters. After entering the desired parameters, in this case, for example, Sort Sequence, you can start a test run by clicking on the button Execute. The response code indicates whether the test was successful or not. If you want to use the ONCE REST API via an external system, a prior authentication is required. Therefore, send your credentials, Base64 encoded, to the authentication server. After sending the authentication request, you'll get a response including a UUID access token for authentication. Use this UUID to authenticate the REST requests. Please note, the UUID for authentication has a validity period of 240 minutes. If the 240 minutes have expired, the authentication process needs to be repeated. ONCE also offers a comfortable overview of all API requests in an API doc, which you can access with the following link at the top of the page. Please note that this page might not be fully functional with every browser. Try preferred Firefox 63.0 or higher. 